Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell of Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video we're going to write some VBA script that will organise the files in a particular folder. And by organise I mean create subfolders within this folder. The subfolders will be named after all the different file types that we find in that folder and then to copy files of that particular file type to the correct subfolder. Now, the way we're going to record this will allow users to select any folder that they want to organize. So it will prompt them to select the folder they want to organize. Okay, so I'll just go back up to the parent folder. So let's start our sub procedure. So we'll call this sub organize files by file type. Now, we're going to use the file system object to achieve what we want to do here. Uh, the file system object just is a great way of being able to uh, refer to the properties of files and folders on your system. So to we have to create an instance of the file system object within our uh, workbook. Now, to do that, you go to Tools and then References. And you've got to tick this option here, Microsoft Scripting Runtime. That won't be at the top of the list like it is there if you haven't ticked it. It'll be in alphabetical order, so you've just got to scroll down and find it. Microsoft Scripting Runtime. So tick that first of all. And then what you do is you have to create an instance of the file system object. So do that by declaring a variable, so dimfso as scripting dot file system object and then you can say set fso equals new scripting dot file system object and that's all you have to do to create an instance of the file system object for your sub procedure okay so we're going to declare quite a few variables in this sub procedure the first of which is for the folder path of the part of the folder that we essentially want to organize. So dim folder path is string. And then secondly, we declare a variable for the files within that folder. So we say dim file as scripting dot FLE. So we use the file system object. Now the next variable we're going to declare is for the dialog box that will allow the user to select the folder they want to organize. So I we'll call this fold path prompt as file dialog. And then we'll set it, we'll say set fold path prompt equals so you say application dot file dialog open up a bracket and there we have it we get our options for the types of dialogues we can have so i want a folder picker great now we're going to set a few properties for that dialog box so we're going to say fold path prompt first property we're going to deal with is the title. So that's going to be what's actually going to appear in the title bar at the top of the dialog box. So we can say dot title equals select the folder you want to organize. Now there's also something called the show method. Now you're going to have to use that to actually show it, to show this dialog box. But what we want to say is if on showing the dialog box, the user presses the OK button, then assign that folder path to the folder path variable. Now the way we do that is we say if dot show equals minus one, so that's essentially the OK button. Then folder path. So that's 
the folder path variable we've declared up there equals the item or the folder that's been selected. Now the way we do that is we say equals dot selected items. Can you see that property there? And you have to give it an index number. Now it is possible with these dialog boxes to allow the user to select more than one folder. We've not allowed that, but you still have to put in one as your index number. Um, so it can assign the folder to the folder path variable. Okay, and then we can just end with. Okay, so next thing we're going to say is if the folder path, so the folder path has been assigned up here, if it's not empty, then we need to do a whole lot of stuff. So what we've got to do here is essentially create a folder that we can then create subfolders within and then copy files from our original folder into those subfolders. So what we need to do, we need to create this new folder in the same parent folder as our original folder. So we need to store that parent path in a variable. So dim parent path as string. And then parent path equals file system object dot get parent folder name of the folder path. So remember folder path is what the path that's been declared to the folder path variable from this folder path prompt. Okay, so we know where to create this new folder. We know the path for that, but we also need to give the new folder a name. Now we're gonna base the name of the new folder on the name of the selected folder, the original folder. And basically, I mean, our folder is called client XYZ, but we're gonna call it the new folder client XYZ organized. Okay, so we need to get the name of the folder that's been selected stored in a variable. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna declare a variable called folder name as string. And folder name equals fso dot get folder folder path dot name. So now we have the parent path and the folder name, we can create the path for our new folder. So we'll create a new variable called new folder path. So it'll be for the folder that we're creating to copy the files to as string. And new folder path uh, equals, so it'll be the parent path concatenated with a backslash concatenated with the folder name of the original file, concatenated or suffixed with some simple text, we'll just say organized, just to differentiate the two folders and then just put that last backslash at the end of the path. Now, further on down in the code, we're going to have to use a for each next loop to loop through all the files in this folder. But we haven't actually created a variable or declared a variable that stores or is set to store that folder object. So that's our next task. So I'll say dim the folder as scripting dot folder uh, 
and then we set it set the folder equals fso dot get folder folder path okay so those are all the variables we need let's get on with actually doing something now so the first thing we're going to do is create that folder that we're going to copy the files to so file system object create folder and basically basically you need to give a string for that uh, a path as a string for that folder so that's going to be called new fold path and that's defined up there as you know now the folder is created we can start our for each next loop so we'll say for each FLE so FLE is the scripting file we've declared up there so FLE in the folder we've declared up here the folder dot files the collection of files within that folder so for each file in that folder so the first thing to do would be to create the subfolder for the file type that we can copy the file into but we need to check first of all that it's not being created so we're going to say if not fso dot folder exists this is why it's so useful to be able to use the file system object so you now specify your string so it'll be new folder path and file type so we are going to create a subfolder with the name of the file type that we're going to copy the files into so essentially the file type will be concatenated onto this path string up here so we're saying if that does not already exist then what we want to do is to create that subfolder so fso file system object create folder and then you need to give it a path so that will be the same as we specified here so i'm going to copy that and then in diff so now we've created the relevant subfolder we can copy the files over to it so we can say fle.copy and then we need to give a path so the path would be the new folder path ampersand the uh, subfolder which would be the file dot type ampersand and we need a backslash and then it will be the file name so ampersand file name so we'll keep the original file name and then once we've done that we need to do exactly the same thing for the next file so that's for each next loop completed to tidy things up we'd better delete the original folder so we can say the folder dot delete and then we better close off the original if that we started up here so remember this if basically says do all these actions if the folder path is not empty okay so that's all we need to do let's see if the script actually works so we're going to run the sub procedure now there may be some errors in the script here uh, we'll soon find out so if i press play yep that should be fle and i can see that there's the same problem there okay so let's play it now hopefully it will work okay so yeah it has prompted me so i'm going to pick the file that i want to the folder that i want to organize click on okay 
and you can see now that it's replaced that folder with a new folder and within that there are subfolders for each file type and within those subfolders I have the relevant files so it has in fact worked okay thanks very much for listening it's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training